quickly. Let's call Papa. Okay, Papa. Papa. Hey girls, what's up? The, the, don't you think the time is a little dirty? Yes, it is indeed, and it's time to clean. I'm going to show you how to clean the fish tank and maintain. Hello, this is our fish tank, and we've been maintaining this for years, but we keep changing the fishes. This is my husband's main hobby. In this video, we're going to show you our fish tank maintenance routine. If you are a beginner to have an aquarium, you may get to know step by step an effective way of cleaning. Let's check out. Hey, hi guys. Uh, today we are going to show how to clean your fish tank in a very easy way. So let's go to what all you require. We need we need a sponge to clean the glasses interior. Uh, be careful that it's not very harsh so that it leaves a scratch in your glasses. A bucket! A bucket to collect uh, overflow comb, sponge, uh, etc. so that uh, the water don't drip and make the flow dirty. A vacuum pump! This is the vacuum suction pump. This is used for regular cleaning the water. This is the hose pipe! The purpose of the hose pipe is to refill the fish tank with these. A filter sponge. Basically, you will be replacing the old sponge filter with a new sponge filter. The purpose of this is to collect the dirts and send the clean water into your sump tank. Two towels. It's always good to have two towels. One for wiping your glasses after the cleaning is done. And another one to wipe your hands whenever your hands are dirty so that you don't dirty the floor. Let's start cleaning. First, I'm going to remove the top and then I'm going to switch off the water. You need to switch off the water because the water level in the sump tank will go down and the water will get spoiled. Additionally, what will happen is when you do the cleaning, the dirt will start flowing into the sump tank. Hence, for these two reasons, you need to switch off the water. Remove all the settings. We need to clean all the sides of the tank before draining out the water because as you drain out the water, the glasses will be dry and once it becomes dry, it will be difficult to wipe out the stains and dirt stuck in the glasses and ensure all dirts are removed. There are varieties of sponges available in the aquarium shops, even with long handles. But we prefer cleaning this way to get the feel of squeaky clean glasses. We drain out only half of the water from the tank. You can see all the dirts being sucked out now. Wash the plants. These water plants are to be washed gently to remove any algae. You can see the roots of these plants and we need to handle them with care while washing. Place the plants in the fish tank. Remove any floating leaves from the water using a net. Clean all the fittings. All are clean. Keep all the fittings back and please. Now that the cleaning is done, let's fill the 
we ensure to position the hose pipe in such a way that the water flows on the rocks otherwise the water flow will deform the sand bed we generally add fresh water conditioner to dechlorinate the water while filling the tank what you are seeing now are the filter socks to be fitted in the sun tanks now the filter sponge has to be fitted in the filter kept in the sun tank down let's do our final touch up hope you guys enjoyed the video if you like please do like and subscribe i'm planning to come up with few more videos about the hobby the topic can go on so have a great day uh, stay safe take care wow the fish tank looks clean and beautiful and now the fishes are enjoying Now the tank is all clean. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we will show you the varieties of the fishes we have and more about it. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye. Bye. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel Simply Shui. See you soon.